what's up y'all we back at it with another all signs reading and this is for the second half of november all right i hope you all have been enjoying your november this is who and what's coming towards you second half of november okay second half of november who and what is coming towards you what you can expect from now to the 30th okay from now to the end of the month hope you all are doing well oh hope you all <laughs> excuse me hope you all are doing well all right sending you guys a lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love best wishes to you all all right take what resonates take what you wish to resonate right whatever it is that you want to come towards you all right from now until the end of november if you hear something you like then go ahead and take it all right if you hear something you don't like rebuke that shit in the name of jesus amen all right let's get into it y'all who and what's coming towards you second half of november from now to the 30th what you can expect i'm going in order from aries to pisces listen out for your sun moon venus rising and north node signs i promise that each of those placements i just called will have a message for you sun moon venus rising north node check out all of those placements all right it's gonna be a message in all of those all right Father God, Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, order, protect and guide me at the highest white light. I call out to you during this time. I ask that you step in and give me clear and accurate messages for each zodiac sign that I call out. Who and what's coming towards them from now to the end of November, 15th of November to the 30th, second half of November. What can the collective expect? I'm going to call out each zodiac sign, give me clear and accurate messages for each zodiac sign. I also ask that you cover, shield, protect, and bless my energy as I channel these messages. Cover, shield, protect, and bless the viewers that are watching this for the highest good. Any evil eye, negative energy, black magic, dark projections being sent towards me, my channel, and all my viewers shall be returned to his rightful owner immediately. Return all negative energy to its sender immediately or help me transmute that energy into positivity, into more power. Ashe, amen. All evil eyes shall go blind. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper. And so will it be. I stand in my sovereignty. Let's get it, y'all. Aries. Who and what's coming towards you from now to the end of November, Aries? What can Aries expect? from now to the end of November. Aries, somebody here is nervous, okay? I'm picking up on like a lot of nervous energy right now. I don't know what that's about, but somebody here definitely nervous. Who and what's coming towards you, Aries? Somebody's nervous. All right. Aries, you're very protected, okay? I feel like you protected. Somebody here that wanted to cause drama or conflict or, like, just try to disrupt your peace, start some shit with you, they could be, like, being removed. I'm hearing that spirit is removing removing them, okay? It's being removed. It's being blocked. You're too protected. Yeah, five of swords. That's what I'm talking about. Like, somebody here really on that rah-rah shit. Aries, what is this? Somebody on that rah-rah shit. Somebody here could also be trying to make you feel nervous, which is what I was initially picking up on. But you a manifester. You a whole magician. You an alchemist. I just heard you an alchemist. You're a master manifester. You're a magician. You ain't new to this. You true to this. You ain't no fucking rookie. You was born like this. You was made like this. You was built for this shit. Past lifetimes, sacred knowledge. Mm, Aries come through. Some of you can have strong Virgo in your chart or Gemini. But with the magician and the seven of wands, man, please, you blocking that shit like it ain't nobody business. Somebody coming with the bullshit and you blocking that shit like it ain't nobody business. Somebody here is codependent. This is what the problem is. Somebody here is codependent on you. Doing the absolute fucking most. This person's a liar. They're deceptive. They're sneaky. They're cheat. They're deceiver. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of swords. I feel like you're very disappointed in this person. You in heavy regret. But you intuitive. And you know what the fuck is going on. The high priestess. You are one who knows. The high priestess, the magician, and the queen of cups. You, exact, you know exactly what the hell is going on and you're moving forward and you're not looking back. I'm hearing you're not looking back, you're moving forward. You know exactly what's going on. You know who's doing what, what when they doing it, why they doing it, how they doing it. You fucking them put all the pieces to the puzzle together. You done got everything figured out. Aries, I'm hearing that you got clear sight. You know what's going on. Justice. And you're getting karmic justice, okay? So expect some sort of good karma, some karmic justice to be... Um, to be coming towards you, okay? I'm hearing blessings and opportunities, great fortune, great health, prosperity. That's what I'm hearing. A lot of y'all deserve this good karma. It's, it's dharma, okay? Some of y'all can have Libra in your chart, but you definitely are on the right path. Trust in God's plan. Trust in divine timing. I feel like I don't even have to tell you this. Based on the energy that you are in, I feel like you already know all of this. You like the universe is working in my favor at all times. I'm chilling. I'm straight. Yeah, it was you straight. Yeah, you're a whole earth angel and you happy. You at peace. 
you know, you can't be fucked with. Somebody here really wants to disturb your peace, though. Mm -hmm. Somebody don't like the peace that you're in. So who's coming towards you? What's coming towards you? It's some bullshit-ass fucking negative-ass energy. But that shit is being blocked out as quick as it's coming in, okay? Yep. I also see that you could be making moves, okay? Yeah. I feel like you're making moves, you're traveling, you're doing things. This is past people from your... from Yeah, this is past people. These are past bitter people. Six of Cups to the Ten of Swords that are depressed... Somebody here may be also wanting to reach out to you to tell you that th that you um that you like mean the world to them. I'm hearing you mean the world to me. You are my everything. Okay, I swear the only thing that matters, <laughs> baby, 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 baby. <laughs> if somebody saying you mean the world to them, you are their everything. Okay, you're the only thing that matters, child. Please. This person saying that they miss you. They're trying to come towards you. But you being protected from this person. Yeah, you too smart. You like, nah, the cycle closed out. I mean the world to you. I'm your everything. Cool story, bro. Gotta go. <laughs> Yo, Aries, you out, man. You definitely could be relocating. Whatever you're doing, you're making moves. And it looks good. Six of Wands. You got the strength and courage to do this. You got the strength and courage to take this leap of faith. I can't make it up. Aries, look at you, baby. Showing up as the fool. The fool and the strength. I'm hearing you're resilient okay very strong i've been getting that word a lot today i've been hearing that in the next 48 messages aries you might want to check out the fire signs next 48 because i kept saying that you were resilient okay a lot of resilience i'm getting that same energy you bold you courageous you fearless you're taking a leap of faith you're going for what it is that you want and ain't nobody fucking stopping you you don't give a fuck i'm hearing that somebody could be trying to make a give you an ultimatum you like man please you giving me an ultimatum then i know you don't give a fuck about me and that's another reason why i'm out i got to go aries you're not with that ultimatum shit yeah, you moving fast. Eight of Wands here. Eight of Cups. Moving away from the bullshit. And motherfuckers that's giving you ultimatums is just really going to lose you. Like, that's what it's going to boil you down to. I feel like you're being watched by a lot of people during this time. A lot of eyes on you. But I'm also hearing God is watching you, too. Hmm. There's multiple people here gossiping, talking, and watching you. The devil in the reverse. Three of Cups reverse. Page of Swords. But you're walking away. And you happy. You happy about this shit. Eight of cups, nine of cups. You are ecstatic. You're getting away from karmic people. So this is exciting. Anytime you remove yourself from a bunch of karmic motherfuckers, it feel like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. It feel like you got a brand new set of eyes. Like you could just see things clearer. You could think clearer. Your mind is, is, is right. It's intact. Aries, congratulations. Okay, I feel like you ain't looking fucking bad. Period. The chair. You're like, vroom, vroom. Gotta go. Excuse me. Oh, you giving me an ultimatum? Cool. That's exactly why I'm out. <laughs> like, I really feel like a bunch of people could be trying to give you some ultimatum or being weird or some shit like that. You're like, man, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Do what or do what? Yeah, all right. You don't really care about me because if you did, you wouldn't even be coming to me with some shit like that. Fuck I gotta choose for. Don't you want to see me happy? Aries, you could even be talking to somebody like that too. Like, don't you want to see me happy? Period. Aries, go ahead with your bad self, sugar. Go ahead with your bad self, man. Let's move on to my Taurus. Who and what's coming towards Taurus? What's headed towards Taurus from now to the end of November? Who and what's coming towards Taurus from now to the end of November? Who and what's coming towards Taurus from now to the end of November? Two more shuffles for my Taurus. What can they expect from now to the end of November? <laughs> Taurus, listen, you about to find out that somebody got locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. No. Won't let me out. You could be hearing through you could be hearing this through the grapevine. Okay, I'm hearing <laughs> I'm hearing that you're hearing it through the grapevine. Yeah, somebody here unhappy. Piss the fuck off. High priestess reverse, the sun reverse, temperance reverse. All right, look at this shit. As soon as I cut the deck, the sun reverse, the temperance reverse, the high priestess reverse. Strong Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Virgo energy. Could be this person's sign, could be placements in their chart, could be multiple people, but you finding out that somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck, they in spiritual jail, but I also am hearing that somebody is actually physically going to prison. You could be hearing about this, okay? Yep, the emperor reverse, king of cups reverse. Somebody here is very abusive, okay? Abusing their power, abusing their authority. 
somebody here that just was doing the most. This person is going down. I'm hearing that they going down, man. They going down. They ain't going to be out here thugging with their rounds no more. They going down. All right. What's this eight of wands in the reverse here? I also feel like somebody wants to talk to you, but this person is not doing the self-work. They're not healing. And so you're blocking them. You're removing them out of your life. Taurus, you are protecting your peace, your stability at all costs. You don't give a fuck. You don't care who got to go. You don't care who got to go. If it's disturbing your peace in any way, it has to be removed out of your life. Taurus, you're not playing about you, baby. I'm hearing that you're not playing about you. You focus. You got your head on straight. You're doing a lot of self-care. You are healing yourself from the inside out. And you just want to be a better person. you just all about being a better person, healing, and tapping into your power, working in your higher power, becoming the best version of yourself you know, possible. Like, you just... It's like you on this health journey, you on this spiritual journey, Taurus, and you doing really good. There's a lot of stability here for you. You showing up in the upright. The Hierophant is your energy and it's an upright. I feel like you are very self-aware. You're very balanced. You're very stable. Um, your finances could be picking up. I'm definitely seeing that your, your money is picking up. Your home is beautiful. Some of you could be moving. Congratulations. Okay. Others of you, you could have just recently moved, but you're making your place feel like home. And then for others of you, you probably not moving, but you're just still making your place feel like home. Okay. You happy. You coming out of a period of darkness. Some of y'all could have been having some rough months is what I'm hearing. Past few months could have been rough for you. Maybe the beginning of the year is what I'm hearing. The beginning of 2023 was kind of rough for some of my tours out there. But it's like you're finishing off this year strong. And 2024 is going to start very beautifully for you. It's going to be a beautiful year for you, Taurus. Some of you can even be seeing like a lot of signs and synchronicities, angel numbers during this time. That's letting you know, keep going. You're on the right path. The new year is going to be beautiful for you. Just keep going, Taurus. It's a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning, a fresh start for you. And I'm here to tell you that I'm also your confirmation. Okay? That's exactly what's happening, Taurus. You happy, baby. You very happy. There's a king of wands in the reverse that wants to connect with you. And this is who you're, I feel like this is who you're um, dismissing. Okay. This is who you're rejecting. Taurus, you are rejecting somebody. And this person is angry that you're rejecting them. They could be an earth sign, a Scorpio, or an air sign. Okay. Whoever this is, they're coming. This is who's coming towards you. This is what's coming towards you. This person right here. Knight of Swords, Five of Swords. They got a bone to pick with you. They've been watching you behind the scenes. They can't get over you. For some of you, this person could be a, a Cancer. Okay? I'm getting Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius. But whoever this person is, they come in. They come in. They come in fast. They come in quickly. They come in like a bat out of hell, child. And I feel like as quick as they come in, it's as quick as you blocking that shit out, you stopping them. Yep. Because you know the truth about the situation and you know what they want and you ain't fucking with it. You very independent, emotionally independent and secure. This person betrayed you and you got over it and you're not about to let them betray you again. Taurus, I'm hearing I'll be a fool to accept you back into my life, to bring you back into my life. You know what type of healing I had to do, motherfucker? You know how I had to heal from the shit you done put me through? I would be a fool to reconnect with you. Taurus, you are done. You are done. Yeah, you done. Like, you're really done. I'm really feeling that. You are you are so done. Four of Wands in the reverse. You are so done. And you independent. You single. You happy. Some of y'all could be newly dating. But I do feel like some sort of passion is coming back into your life. Like I said, you got a new beginning, a fresh start. But I also feel like there's a lot of new um, new things coming towards you, okay? Or new people. Some of y'all going to be meeting new people. And you're going to be putting yourself out there. You're going to be dating, right? You're going to be getting to know people. Because you've healed enough to the point where you're actually ready to date. You see, Taurus, you're doing everything the right way. You're not jumping from one person to the next. You're actually giving yourself time to process what it is that you've been through, what lessons you've learned, how to apply them to your life, and how to heal and move forward in the right fucking way. All right? So congratulations, Taurus. You're doing things the way that it's supposed to be done. You good, Taurus. You're straight. You want to up and up. You want to up and up. Something very peaceful here about your home, too. Okay? I'm hearing home sweet home. You, you're very happy about your home. Okay, you're very happy with your home. It feels like home. Um, this is good. This is really good. Taurus, I know a lot of you could be like homebodies. So I know you're happy about like home, your home being very peaceful and shit. You spend a lot of time at home for some of you. Some of you may also get the opportunity to work from home. And that could have been something that you really was looking forward to and really wanted. All right, let's move on to my Gemini's. 
Gemini, 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 Gemini. Who and what's coming towards my Geminis from now to the end of November? Who and what's coming towards Gemini from now to the end of November? What's up, Jimmy, baby? What's up, Gemini? Who and what's coming towards my Geminis from now to the end of November? Who and what's coming towards Gemini from now to the end of November? Spirit, give me a message for Gemini. What can they expect from now to the end of November, please? Gemini. I'm feeling very, like, upset. <laughs> Gemini, I don't know if somebody's projecting this energy onto you or you just pissed the fuck off about something. Okay? But I'm, yeah, I can't make it up. Queen of Swords in the reverse. I'm telling y'all, I feel that shit. I'm, like, shuffling and I'm getting all mad. Like, what the fuck am I mad about? Uh, some of you, you have somebody projecting nasty energy to you and could be wanting you to feel angry, right? But also, this could, like I said, this could just honestly be how you feel about something. You could be angry about something. This Queen of Swords in the reverse it revealed itself as soon as I picked up on that energy, okay? That ain't no coinky thing. You could be mad, okay? Um, Gemini, be mindful of, like, the way you respond to people, okay? Um, don't flip on nobody, okay? Don't hurt nobody. Don't slap the shit out of nobody, okay? That other twin might slide on out. That other twin might come on out and really slap the shit out of somebody, okay? Gemini, I feel like you want to slap fire out of somebody, don't do it, okay? We got a Knight of Wands in the reverse. This could be the person that you really about to pop off on. Just calm down, okay? Like, I'm really feeling that energy. Like, you about to pop off on somebody. Could be a Cancer, okay? Shit, I understand, okay? Could be a Cancer for some of y'all or a Fire Sign or a Scorpio. Listen, you mad at somebody. Yeah, King of Wands. You mad at this person. Yeah, Justice in the reverse. You feel like this person wronged you or they did something foul to you. Okay, for some of you, you feel like this person ran off on you. This person could have put you in a third party and that's why you mad. You could be upset because this put, person put you in a third party. Okay. You could also be upset because you feel like this person is celebrating. Like they just ran off on you. Now they celebrating and shit and now you upset. Uh, Gemini, you could also be finding out that a friend is going through some difficult times right now. A friend could be coming towards... I'm getting that it's a friend specifically. I'm not really getting anything romantic from this message specifically. Some of you could be finding out that a friend is coming towards you and a friend feels like trapped or stuck and they're going through some things and they could be wanting to contact you. Yeah, somebody from your past. Gemini, I feel like you reconnecting with old friends and family members as well. Some of y'all reconnecting with old friends, family members, things like that. I hear somebody saying that they miss you. I also feel like somebody is like telling you about their problems like somebody here could just be really coming towards you and opening up to you letting you know how they feel what they've been going through um i feel like somebody here like views you as like their therapist low-key somebody is really opening up to you but i'm getting here that this is like a family member or a friend i do feel like you're reconnecting with childhood friends or or you know old distant relatives things like that i mean that makes sense though because thanksgiving is coming up right so some of you could be seeing like friends that you haven't seen in a long time or family you haven't seen in a long time and you feel happy about it you feel good but i also feel like somebody is like coming to you and like really um telling you about what they're going through and how they're feeling somebody here could be feeling down and out and they expressing that to you um i also feel like some of you could be getting your partner period okay it's like you're happy because you're co you're going into union with your divine counterpart congratulations we have both the emperor and the empress coming out together and we have the fool card this person is taking a leap of faith and going towards you period they viewing you as their empress or their emperor take it as it resonates but your divine counterpart is here they're ready to take a leap of faith and come towards you and i feel like somebody else that they separated from is pissed off there's a queen of pentacles in the reverse that's pissed off they could have left another gemini or they could have left an earth sign but they left somebody that was using them for their finances yeah they set themselves free that's the truth ace of swords and this person is coming to build with you Okay, this person could be buying you a home or y'all could be moving together into a new home. This person is coming in with a solid fucking offer after leaving a queen of pentacles in the reverse. Like I said, for some of you, this person left an earth sign or even another Gemini. But they coming towards you. They could have left a Virgo as well. I'm getting Virgo, Gemini, Taurus energy here, Capricorn. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini energy here. Well, whoever they left, it was the perfect time for them to do this. 
And I feel like whoever they left is trying to come back around, come towards them, apologize, beg for forgiveness. But it's not going down. This person is dead set on you and y'all about to build together. Look at this shit. We got both the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in the upright, the Emperor and the Empress, the Star. Y'all are healing this together. Y'all coming together. Y'all are healing this. It's very beautiful. Very, 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 very beautiful, Gemini. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was great. I love it. You're going to be so happy. Trust me. You're going to be happy, bitch. I promise. Somebody else mad, though, and they projecting that energy onto you. That was, that's why I was like, I'm angry. What I'm angry for? Gemini, you could be feeling that. Like, what I'm angry for? I ain't mad. Ain't shit happening. Why I'm angry? <laughs> this person is angry and you feel their energy. Okay? It could be the person that they leave in, but that person could be projecting um, hateful and anger to, towards you. And you feeling it. You picking up on it. It ain't nothing that a shower won't help. Okay? Get your ass in a bath. Take a salt bath. Take a herbal bath. A spiritual bath. Okay, light a nice candle, some incense, cleanse your space, cleanse your home, open up all your windows, cabinets, cleanse your windows, cleanse your mirrors, put some shit by your door. You know how you go. Do whatever it is that you need to do to protect your energy and peace at all costs. All right, let's move on to my cancers. Who and what's coming towards cancer from now to the end of the month, from now to the end of November? Who and what's coming towards cancer? What can cancer expect? Who and what's coming towards my cancers? From now to the end of the month. Oh, Cancer. Let's see, sugar. Three more shuffles for my Cancers. Who and what's coming towards Cancer from now to the end of November? Now to the end of the month for Cancer. Who and what's coming towards my Cancers? My Cancers. <laughs> cancer. Okay, something about hot sauce. <laughs> I'm hearing um what's that song? It's called My Band. What what was that? That was Eminem and them other guys, right? D12. Y'all remember D12? They don't know the name of my band. They wanna hold hands. Something my band. My band, my band, my band, my band, my band, my band, my band. Y'all remember that song? These chicks don't even know the name of my band. Yo, that's an old ass song. I'm channeling that though. Some of y'all may have loved that song back in the day. That was a silly song. Eminem, okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. I know Eminem is a Libra, but yeah, I'm I'm hearing D12, my band, but I'm hearing the end of the song where he be like, my salsa. My salsa, 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 my salsa. My salsa makes all the pretty girls dance my salsa. Or some shit he be <laughs> saying. Eminem crazy as hell. Um, but I'm hearing that, and I'm, then I'm also hearing hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know you look good to me. So I'm hearing, <laughs> y'all, I'm channeling so many different things. So I'm hearing that salsa at the end of the um, song, My Band by D12. I'm hearing Eminem when he be saying my salsa. Look it up, okay? Y'all know that song. That's an old-ass song, but I know some of y'all know that song. It was popular back in the day. I'm hearing that, but then I'm also hearing next Friday, uh, shout-outs to um, John Witherspoon. Rest in peace to John Witherspoon. But I'm hearing pops um, from the Wayans Brothers. And next Friday when he was like, put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know you look good to me. So something about a burrito or hot sauce. Some of y'all may love Mexican food. You may um, be eating something with hot sauce. And then I'm also hearing Beyonce when she say, I got hot sauce in my bag, swag. So I'm picking up on something with Mexican food, salsa, burritos, hot sauce. Okay, very, very random, right? But I'm picking up on all of that shit. So something about Mexican food. Some of y'all could be eating Mexican food or burritos and hot sauce. And, you know, you like that guacamole and shit. You like the salsa and the chips and the dip. <laughs> I don't know. Something going on about um, some sort of Mexican food. Okay, Cancer, here you are, the chariot. You're showing up in the upright. All right. Be easy on the hot food, though. Like, that should be fucking us up low key. Um, I love hot food, too. But, you know, in moderation. Don't overdo it, all right? I'm one to talk, but for real, don't eat. The, you shouldn't be having spicy food every single day. All right. Somebody here may need to hear that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. But I feel like I'm talking to myself too. Like everything be hot. Even, even if I buy chips, I'm like, give me the spicy ones. <laughs> like, so some of y'all may love spicy or hot food or your person does or something like that. All right. Let's get into the message. So I feel like there's a decision that you need to make cancel with the lovers reverse and a fool. And with the chariot here and the upright eight of wands, I feel like you're making a decision fairly quickly. 
okay? Either you or somebody that you're dealing with is making a decision very quick. It's like, I don't have time to waste, okay? I need to do this shit and I need to do it now. I don't got time to sit and contemplate. I already dragged my feet. I already took my sweet time. Now it's time for action. Yeah, King of Swords. Somebody here is being very, like, strategic, planning, and they, like, yeah, my nose is itching so much. I'm channeling so much. Oh, my God, my nose is so itchy. My nose itches a lot when I'm channeling. But this person is very smart a strong aries and aquarius energy here okay we also have gemini here too we have you cancer okay we have sagittarius we have um aquarius yeah we have strong air gemini libra aquarius aries and you cancer and we also have leo somebody here is tired of somebody somebody here could have been in the third party and they tired of this shit they feel like it's toxic okay and they're ready to free themselves Somebody here could be relocating, traveling, moving, thinking about traveling or moving, going towards a new home, buying a new house, selling a house. And I feel like somebody else is heartbroken. Somebody here was overdoing it, okay? Really controlling somebody or trying to control somebody, trying to control their finances, control their life. And somebody here is like, I'm out. Cancer, for many of you, this could be you. You're tired of this person. You're tired of them. You're tired of this Virgo, this Taurus, this Leo, this Capricorn, this Aries, Aquarius, this Gemini. Whoever this is, you tired of them and you moving forward and you ain't looking back. You fucking tired. You tired. That's what I'm getting. Somebody here is extremely tired. It's like, I'm not doing this. You trying to cause delays for me. You know I want to leave. Whoever this is, I feel like this person knows that you want to leave. And it's like they're trying to delay it. It's like this person trying to hold on to you for as long as they can. They already know they lost you, but it's like, I'm going to hold on to you for a little bit longer. You know, I'm going to keep your ass around for about two, three more months. Cancer, you like, hell fucking no. Okay? Y'all are out. You like, you ain't keeping me around for two, three months. I'm leaving the fuck now. Okay? Move the fuck out of my way before I call the authorities. <laughs> Cancer, what the hell is this? Y'all funny. I feel like you found out some sort of truth about this person. Some of y'all found out that this person was juggling you. All right. I'm also hearing something about a workplace affair. So somebody here could have um, found out that their person was like sleeping with somebody that they actually work with or that they see a lot. They see it on a day to day basis. And like I said, for some of you, it is a workplace affair. But I feel like you're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. You're 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 leaving this person. It's done. It's over. You're healing. Tower here. We got the tower and a death card. This is major. This is a major event here. With the tower and the death coming out together and the ace of swords, this is finalized. This is final. There's no coming back from this. I feel like this was too much of a burden for you anyway. Trying to keep this relationship, this marriage, whatever this is. Trying to keep this afloat. Trying to keep this going. You done. Yeah, you done. And you feel better. I also feel like somebody here could be mad at an empress. Okay? What the fuck? Somebody here is mad at an, at an empress. Justice in a reverse. Page of wands in a reverse to the empress. <clears throat> Somebody here could be mad at an empress, but they can't do shit about it, but they mad. Okay. What's this um, nine of wands in the reverse here? Eight of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's angry because they got to give up trying to defeat an empress. This empress is minding their fucking business, though. This empress is not bothering nobody. Somebody here is also jealous of an empress' abundance and their beauty. It's weird. Somebody here is also jealous because this empress is going into a divine union. Somebody here could have ruined their own marriage, their own relationship because they're too busy focused on an empress that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Fucking weird. This shit is stupid. <clears throat> it's giving karmic energy. That's what it's giving. <laughs> it's giving I ruined my own life because I'm too busy focused on somebody that ain't got me to think about. It's giving karmic. It's giving delusional. It's giving fucking crazy. It's giving insane. It's giving absurd. <laughs> Shit is absurd. <laughs> Let's move on. Leo. What's up, Leo? Leo, 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 Leo. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north. No, Leo. Who and what's coming towards my Leos? Who and what's coming towards my Leos? Sun, moon, Venus, rising north. No, Leo. What's going on, baby? Who's coming towards you? What's coming towards you from now to the end of the month? Who and what's coming towards my Leos from now to the end of the month? Three more shuffles for you, Leo. Some you could be doing with a Pisces or a Libra. Somebody here may have that highly aspect in their chart. I'm also getting Scorpio. Pisces, Libra, and Scorpio energy. Very strong for you, Leo. Somebody here could be dealing with someone that's abusive. You may be trying to help. You need to mind your business and stay out of it. 
I'm just saying. I didn't mean to say it like that, but I'm just saying. That, like, that's what I'm getting. Some of y'all could be trying to come to somebody's rescue. This person gonna get you fucked up, okay? I don't feel like they mean to, but they, they could possibly get you fucked up. It's best to just mind your business. And if you're really concerned about this person's well-being, then get some sort of authority figures involved. Don't take it upon yourself to go save the day or save this person. They, dealing with, they, they wanna leave somebody that's causing them heavy depression, okay? Somebody here could be very controlling, very narcissistic, very abusive. And this person could be depressed behind this person's behavior, how this person's been treating them. And I feel like for some reason, Leo, this could be somebody that you are romantically interested in, or this is somebody that you actually just care about. You don't want to see this person hurt. And so you want to come to their rescue. It's like you want to help this person sneak away. But this person is not even very honest themselves. This is somebody, that's why I said this person going to get you in trouble. You mean well and you want to help this person, but this is somebody that's actually going to get you in trouble. They're going to get you caught the fuck up. If you really want to help, just like I said, involve um, a higher authority here to come in. Okay? Because I feel like you want to come in and you want to save the day. Yeah, call the fucking cops. Okay? Like this is giving me a police vehicle, a police car. But Leo, I just feel like it's best for you to... um help in other ways like find other ways to help yeah somebody here oh my god somebody here could be dealing with another leo you like this person don't deserve this they should just leave this person is coming towards you and telling you how bad somebody hurt them or how they are talking down to them or somebody here could even physically abuse somebody hit somebody i hope not but i am getting that yeah king of cups in the reverse this person could be a water sign they could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Taurus, another Leo like you, um, an Aries, Aquarius. But I feel like somebody is coming towards you to tell you how this person has hurt them. And it's like you ready to save the day. I also feel like you could be a, not excited that this person's hurting, but excited that they're finally deciding to leave this person. Because you may actually take a liking to this person. You may actually be interested in this person and want to give them some sort of love offer. And then for others of you, this could just be somebody again that you just don't want to see hurt that you actually you know just really care about you love and you hate that this person has gotten themselves into this kind of situation or relationship here but these are two karmics though you know no shade but they are we got both the emperor and the empress in a reverse this, this is like a karmic relationship a karmic pair this is a karmic couple but you really care about this empress though in a reverse i feel like you're a masculine i'm talking to for some of you others of you you could be finding yourself in this karmic relationship and you're ready to set yourself free. It's time for you to trust your intuition and go towards your destined path, which doesn't include this person. This is a karmic cycle. Will of Fortune reverse the Emperor and the Empress in the reverse, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. This is leading nowhere fast. The longer you stay in this situation, the more hurt you're going to become, the more bitter you're going to become. You're going to start to grow resentment for this person. Okay? That's for some of you. Okay? Some of y'all dealing with a cancer a Libra, um, a Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, okay, Aquarius. Those are the energies I have here. Somebody here is not in love. There's no love here. There's no love here. We got both the King and Queen of Cups in the reverse. We got the Emperor, Empress reverse, the Hierophant reverse. There's no respect. There's no loyalty. There's no love. There's no passion. There's no fucking nothing. There's nothing but drama and abuse and fighting and mind games, period. You are either in this situation and you're deciding to finally leave and save yourself, right? Or you are... You know somebody that's in this situation. And like I said, you want to come to their rescue. Somebody here may actually get locked up for like putting their hands on somebody. But yeah, like I said, we got the king and queen of cups in the reverse. The emperor and the empress in the reverse. These two could even be married in a relationship, share a home together. But this is like a situation that is doomed. This is a relationship that's doomed. This is karmic as fuck. It's toxic as fuck. Okay, this is like, I did this to you. You did this to me, so I'm going to do this to you. You hurt me, so I'm going to hurt you. You cheated on me, so I'm going to cheat on you. You disrespected me, so I'm going to disrespect you. And I feel like somebody here is like physically assaulting someone as well. Who, who message is this? This Leo? The fuck is going on, Leo? You right, baby? I feel like you just unhappy. Wherever you at in this situation, whether you are a part of this relationship or you on the outside trying to get help looking in. It's just a very unhappy situation, period. No way, no matter how you look at it, how you flip and bounce it, it's an unhappy and sad situation. Somebody needs to abandon this. They need to save themselves. Um, 
Okay, let's move on to my Virgos. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, Virgo. What's going on, Virgo? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, Virgo. Mm. What's up, Virgo, Virgo? Who and what's coming towards you from now to the end of November, Virgo? Let's see. Who and what's coming towards Virgo from now to the end of November? What can Virgo expect from now to the end of November? Holy Spirit, give me a message for Virgo. What can they expect from now to the end of November, Virgo? Somebody that you blocked or that you're not speaking to at this moment is trying to contact you. This person is a liar, though, okay? And I feel like that's why they blocked to begin with. But I feel like somebody here that's blocked, that you're not communicating with, Somebody that's finding it very difficult to get in contact with you has been really trying to get in contact with you. But this person is very deceptive, which is why they're blocked in the first place. It is okay. You don't want to hear from this person. You don't want to talk to this person. Yeah, you're going to reject this person. If this person really forces their way into your life and really tries to, they're going to get their feelings hurt because you're going to tell them that you're not interested. Okay, you're going to reject this person. Friend, family, coworker, lover, ex-business partner, take it as it resonates. But you're going to reject this person. And they're going to be fucking mad about this shit. Like, fuck you mean you don't want me. I just told you I don't want you. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be your friend. Why not? Like, somebody here is not respecting the curve. What did I do to you? Why you treat me like that? Motherfucker, it don't matter. I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to be your friend. I don't have to reconcile with you. I don't have to entertain you. I don't have to hear shit from that comes out of your mouth. I don't owe you nothing. Are you dumb? Like somebody here is really like trying to be forceful. Like you owe them something. You don't owe this person shit. You don't have to talk to them if you don't want to. Yeah, King of Cups in the reverse. This is like a toxic, uh, I'm, <laughs> for some of you, I'm hearing they're a mama's boy. That came out of nowhere. But this person may be a mama's boy. But with the King of Cups in the reverse, this is somebody that's just like, come on. Like they don't take rejection easily. And instead of them, you know how some people just kind of like sad when they get rejected, right? That's normal, right? That's normal responses, like feeling kind of sad. Like, oh man, like I... I, I hope for this. I wish for this. But I mean, I, I guess, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going hill, right? No, instead of this person being like that or just saying, okay, it's not for me. God got something better for me, right? It's, it's two ways that you should respond to rejection. Either just remove yourself, right? And be sad, feel how you're going to feel, heal, move on. Or you could look at it like, okay, it's not for me. God got something else better for me. One door closes, another one's going to open. Okay, this person rejected me. You know, it's some silver lining in that. Maybe, wasn't gonna, maybe we wasn't going to be right for each other anyway. God got somebody else for me. Let me move on. That's how you look at it. But this person is not going to look at it neither of those ways. This person is going to be like, fuck out of here. You ain't all that anyway, you stupid bitch. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. You ain't even all that. Nigga, you mad. Okay, you mad and you immature. And you don't know how to deal with your emotions. This is someone that's very emotionally immature, very emotionally unstable. This is somebody that throws temper tantrums. They don't handle rejection well at all. They don't know how to accept a no. Like, this person can't accept a no. They don't know what no is. This person's energy is, is about to piss me off. Virgo, this person's a fucking clown, okay? They're a fucking clown. It's a water sign, a Gemini, or a fire sign. But this is a clown. Yeah, and now they sad. Oh, well shit they said and you beautiful you do look good but this is the type of person that when you reject them they're gonna tell you everything that's wrong with you they're gonna try to call out all your flaws that they feel like you have but really this person wish that they could swallow your drawers you understand what i'm saying but they're gonna want to call out all your flaws because now you rejected them please some of y'all could be sad you could have shown sag in your chart Virgo. okay you could have shown saggy in your chart for some of you but you look fucking good there's nothing wrong here you're amazing and this person knows you're amazing this person is smitten by you and they're just mad because you don't want them. This person is also a player, which is another reason why they can't handle rejection well. Because this is somebody that doesn't get rejected often. I feel like this person, you know, they get a lot of hoes or whatever you want to call it. Like this is somebody that be having people probably drooling over them. And because you don't want them, they don't know how to accept that. They don't know like how to feel about that. Like what do you mean you don't want me? It's me. Look at me. Like you should be happy that I'm even interested in you. Virgo, you like, excuse me? Motherfucker, you're crazy, <laughs> okay? Like, this person be having third parties, too. Like, a lot of third parties. This is somebody that will never, like, fully really be with you. Like, this is not somebody that's going to give you a solid commitment. This is somebody that's going to always keep their options open. I'm telling you, it's a fire sign or a water sign or a Gemini. 
But this is somebody that you're going to leave and you're going to feel much happier that you left them. Strong Leo energy here. Leo, Scorpio, Gemini here. Could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces as well. Take it as it resonates. Strong fire, strong water, and Gemini's here. Virgo, this person is like irritating your soul anyway. I feel like this person brings out the worst in you. There's no reason why you need to entertain this person. It's a good thing that this shit is coming to an end. It's a good thing that you're rejecting her. Look at this as a good thing. It is. You're going to feel much happier. Some of you could even be feeling sad or feeling drained, feeling depressed right now. It's because you're entertaining this fucking clown. Okay? I mean, I hate to be so harsh, you know? But it's true. This is how it's coming out, baby. And you're showing up as the hermit in the reverse, queen of swords reverse. I feel like this person really take you where you don't need to be taken. Like, this person really brings you out of character. It's like you really working hard to maintain your control, your stability, your peace. You're trying to be mature. And you, you're just trying to handle things in a very mature manner. And it's like this person, like, really irritates your soul to the point where you got to, like, really curse their asses out. You got to get real nasty with them. I feel like... You be talking to this person crazy sometimes. <laughs> and it's not that you want to. It's just like, yo, you leave me no choice. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? I'm really about to, like, fucking, like, oh, <laughs> Like, I don't know, Virgo. You be really wilding on somebody. But I feel like they be asking for that shit. No cap. <laughs> I feel like there's something else that's coming in for you, though. All right. You got a king of pentacles here. Could be an earth sign for some of you. Or a Leo. Somebody with strong earth or Leo in their chart. Whoever this is, no matter the signs, they coming towards you, all right? The Fool card, the Sun, the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups. You may be reconnected with somebody. It could start off as friends. Somebody here could also be a Libra or have strong Libra in their chart. But you two are going to be reconnected and you may start off as friends. But this is going to be a good thing for you. This person coming into your life, this is going to be a good thing for you. Because whoever you having all these issues with, this is somebody that you just have an ongoing, unfulfilling cycle with. It's just... It's non-stop. It is chaotic. It's just back and forth. Nothing is changing. This person's behavior is not changing. They're non-committal. This is somebody that's a cheater. Like, this is somebody that you don't even feel like really like you like that for real, for real. It's like, why the fuck are you wasting your time? Okay? Like, yeah, this is somebody that y'all gonna stop talking to. Y'all may even block this person. But you're gonna feel so much better. I'm telling you, this ain't nothing to be sad about, Virgo. You're gonna feel so much better. You're going to feel like a weight has lifted off of your shoulders. I promise you. Thank me later. We got the nine of cups and the sun here. You're going to feel so much better that you have disconnected from this person. Now, like I said, there's somebody else from the past that's returning that actually means you well. Okay. And y'all may start off as friends, but either way, it's like a breath of fresh air being around this other person. <sighs> Lord. Virgo, that person is um very draining. Okay, very upsetting. Okay, that person's energy was very, like, frustrating. Like, I feel like they frustrate you. I feel like you just get really frustrated when you talk to this person or you try to understand this person. It's like it just becomes very frustrating for you. I, I really feel that. All right, let's move on to my Libras. What's going on, Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no Libra. Who and what's coming towards Libra? What can Libra expect from now to the end of November? Who and what's coming towards Libra? What can Libra expect from now to the end of November? Oh, we got the High Priestess here. Okay, Libra, the High Priestess is like falling. Like, she just keep falling out the deck. Some of y'all could be very intuitive, okay? You may even be psychic, baby. But I feel like you trust in your intuition in a situation. You could be walking away from something, okay? You could be walking away from something. But I definitely feel like... You are very intuitive, okay? I also feel like you're blocking someone. Like, somebody here could be trying to contact you and, like, start some shit with you. Queen of Swords reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse. You're like, man, please. I am, like, living my best life. I'm at peace. I'm happy. I ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. <laughs> ain't going back and forth with you, niggas. Okay? Yeah, Libra, I'm hearing you living your best life and you're not about to entertain no foolishness. You're not about to go back and forth with somebody. Somebody here could be stressed out because they feel like they're exhausted all their options in order to get under your skin. Okay, somebody here going back to the drawing board trying to figure out what else could they do to possibly get under your skin. You too at peace. They don't like it. Somebody here doesn't like how peaceful you are, Libra. It's really blowing theirs, okay? It's really blowing theirs. It's really grinding their gears how peaceful you are. It's upsetting them. Fuck you, Libra. You shouldn't be happy. You shouldn't be at peace. What? What's wrong with this person? They're not at peace. That's what's wrong. 
Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that has no peace. For some of you, this could even be a fellow air sign. This could be another Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius for some of you, or somebody with strong air in their chart. But this is someone that's bitter. This is someone that is mad about something that could have happened between you two in the past or just something that happened to them that they can't get over. Yeah, it's like somebody here wants to come towards you. Libra, you looking so beautiful. You looking so amazing, okay? This person is mad. It's like they're mad. Like they're really fucking mad. There's a king of wands in the reverse that's also mad at you. A devil in the reverse, a death reverse. Somebody here that's not doing the self-work. Somebody here that's not healing. Somebody here that's not working on themselves. This person is showing up as the emperor in the reverse. They're mad because you're healing, okay? They're mad because you're on the right path. You're on the right side of karma. You, you're you doing things the right way. And somebody here is very angry. You got a, a king of wands in the reverse and a queen of swords in the reverse that's pissed off right now. Like, they so mad. And these could be people that are in your family or this could be like past friends or co-workers these are people from the past they're like holding on to the past or just angry about like their own life like they're angry about their life and they want you to be angry and upset about your life too but the decisions that they made in your in their life have nothing to do with you like come on now we all get the same 24 hours in a day what the fuck are you really mad about you're mad at libra because of choices that you made that's your business like you need to be mad at yourself the fuck is wrong with you you can have a Scorpio, a fire sign. Okay, I'm hearing Leo. Some of y'all are a Scorpio, a Leo, a Capricorn, another Libra, a Gemini or Aquarius or mad at you. Like a fellow air sign, a Leo or a Scorpio, somebody with that in their chart. But this is multiple people here. Like upset. Get over it. Like get over yourself. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords, confirmation. Come on. Get the fuck over yourself. They're mad because your balance, your temperance. Okay, you showing up as the Temperance Queen of Cups, Earth Angel vibes. Okay, they're mad because some somebody could be mad because they found out that you are Earth Angel. Somebody here is mad because they found out that you're having a new beginning and they're watching you and they're mad and they're getting karma. Period. That's why they're mad. Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Somebody here is mad because they're getting karma. They're getting karma. These are people that could have did some shit to you that they had no business doing to you in the past and that shit is catching up to them. That's what's happening here. Somebody from your past, multiple people from your past thought of a bright idea to go up against you and you a whole fucking earth angel. You ain't do shit to nobody. You don't deserve this treatment. And they mad at you now because they getting karma. Somebody here mad at you because they're getting karma. But you didn't do nothing to them. They fucked with you. They fucked with you. And then your spirit guys, your spirit team is handling their asses right now. And now they mad at you. You mad at Libra because you did stupid shit in the past to Libra. And now it's catching up to you. But you mad at Libra. You gonna blame Libra. It's Libra fault. It's Libra fault that you're going through what you're going through. Not it's my fault because I had no business doing this shit to Libra in the first place. Come on, take some fucking accountability. Fucking retards. These people are fucking stupid. They're going to piss me off. Yeah, we got a king of pentacles in the reverse that's heartbroken. Oh, well. The fuck? Libra, you showing up as the star. All right? Someone that's nurturing, loving, giving, kind, compassionate. You healing yourself. You got strong faith, strong belief, strong sense of security. Okay? Yeah, temperance, queen of wands, queen of cups, the star. You're amazing, Libra. You're amazing, and you're very fucking protected. Judgment card here, and you're very happy. And someone's mad. Someone here is mad and envious of your independence, your happiness, your star quality, your strength. Okay, the fact that you are earth angel, the fact that you intuitive. This is upsetting someone. This is upsetting multiple people. They're going through a tower moment. So what's coming towards you? Happiness, blessings, new beginnings, opportunities, abundance, prosperity, and on all levels. Okay. And it's just past people that can't get nowhere near you. That's pissed off. Somebody here is mad because you're an alchemist, because you're a master manifester, you're a magician. There's a king of cups in the reverse that wants to come towards you. This person needs to back the fuck up because you don't fuck with them. King of cups reverse and the empress reverse that's mad that wants to come towards you. The hermit reverse. Could be a Scorpio, another Libra, like I said, a Taurus or Virgo that want to come towards you. Somebody here want to act like they fuck with you. Somebody here also want to congratulate you. Like, here Libra, here I bought you a gift. Eh, keep that shit. Libra don't want your fake ass gifts, your fake ass apologies, none of that. Ten of Swords. These people are sad because they know everything I'm saying is the truth. Libra, you receiving good news, celebration, recognition, praise, and reward. Somebody here knows that you don't fuck with them. Somebody here knows that you will never fuck with them, so they need to get the fuck on. <laughs> they need to keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Keep it fucking pushing. All right? Keep it pushing, homie. <laughs> like... Somebody here mad. Like, they just can't believe this. Like, Libra, you just gonna write us off? Yes, Libra is gonna write you off. Libra has written you off. Now go on about your business. Your cutoff game too strong, Libra. I'm hearing your cutoff game is too strong. And people just really don't understand. It's like, oh my God. Like, we never knew that you, like, would cut us off like that. 
okay and i never knew that you would do what you did to me like that <laughs> so we're both surprised we're both confused now get the fuck out my way before i spit in your face oh libra you don't fuck with somebody you really don't <laughs> libra you don't fuck with somebody somebody ain't never seen inside of you they saying you cold libra you cold mm. oh well let's move on to my scorpio <laughs> Let's move on to Scorpio. Libra, this is justice. It's fair and just for you to be this way towards these people. Make no mistake about it. Be stern. You ain't got to be nasty. I'm just reading the energy and so it's coming out a little nasty, right? But with the justice here, Libra, this is fair and just. Here you are in the upright. These are people that are two-faced. These are people that betrayed you. They don't really fuck with you. They don't want to see you happy. They don't really like you like that for real, for real. Some of these motherfuckers even want to see you down and out. Some of these motherfuckers want to take you out. Come on now. Let's not play stupid. Let's not embarrass ourselves. Let's not make an ass out of ourselves. Like Libra don't fucking know what the fuck going on. Let's not do that. All right? Let's not do that. Let's not play games. Let's not be like that. <laughs> They're mad because everything I'm saying is the truth. Libra, these people going to cross watch this shit. I promise you. And they're mad. They're mad because they know everything I'm saying is the truth. They're heartbroken. They're upset. They can't believe this shit. Oh, well, believe it. Fuck. You ain't got to believe it. Just move the fuck out of Libra way. Excuse me. <laughs> and Libra, you still loving. That's what I'm saying. You still loving. Somebody here saying you cold. No, I just don't fuck with you. I'm still a great person. I still have a big heart. I still love. I still give love. I still spread positivity. I just don't fuck with you. 51 11 on the clock. Period. Some of you could be seeing 111 11 11 555. Positive changes are approaching, Libra. Positive changes are ahead for you. Move forward, okay, with your head held high. Walk and talk with conviction. Fuck these motherfuckers. Let's move on. Scorpio. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no Scorpio. Who and what's coming towards my Scorpios? Scorpio, what's going on with you, sugar dumpling? What's happening, baby? What's going on, Scorp? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no Scorpio. What's going on with my Scorpios? Give me a message for Scorpio. Who and what's coming towards Scorpio from now to the end of November, second half of November? What can Scorpio expect? Who and what's coming towards my Scorpios? <laughs> Scorpio, you showing up in a reverse, okay? We got the King of Cups and the Death card both in a reverse. I don't know what this is about. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Scorpio. I feel like some truth is coming out, though. You could be receiving like some sort of clarity about a situation, about a person. I do feel like some sort of truth is coming towards you. You see the truth about somebody or a situation. Some of y'all could be divorcing somebody or breaking up with somebody, okay? With this four of wands in reverse, or you could have recently just did that. I feel like somebody here wants you back, though. If you, if you broke up with somebody or divorced them, this person is stressed out about you and they want you back. Mm-hmm. This is somebody that wants you back. They like, baby, come back, okay? But you like, hell no, I'm single and I'm free. I'm happy. The yeah, you happy. And you getting it too, Scorpio. Some of y'all gonna be getting something. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, some of y'all gonna be doing the do. Or you have already been. I'm hearing that your sex life is at its peak, okay? Like your sex drive is high. Your sex life is amazing, okay? I'm hearing something about somebody that has a high sex drive, a strong libido. Mm. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all dealing with a Libra, okay? Somebody here may also find out that someone's pregnant. Congratulations. Y'all, Ashanti might be pregnant. <laughs> Ashanti about to be pregnant. Oh, shit. Ashanti having a baby. Y'all hear that? Y'all heard it here first. I told y'all when Rihanna was pregnant. I, I predicted Rihanna when she was pregnant. With the first baby, I told y'all that she was pregnant. And that was way before any pictures or anything came out. I told y'all months ahead of time. I, I think I almost predicted that like a year ahead of time. But I did a reading on ASAP, Rocky, and Rihanna, and I predicted her pregnancy. Y'all remember because when she when she came out that she was pregnant, all of y'all was hitting me up like, oh, my God, you predicted that she's pregnant. And I said, yeah, she's going to have multiple babies. And lo and behold, she had another one back to back. So Ashanti pregnant. Uh-huh. She could be finding out that she's pregnant towards the end of the month when she could have she could be hiding this right now. But you nah, I don't think she know yet. I don't think she know yet. But he trying to get her pregnant and she could actually be finding out that she is pregnant. Oh, that's nice. But anyway, some of y'all finding out that you pregnant or your person pregnant as well. 
some of y'all may want to be careful if you don't want a baby or if you don't want to expand your family right now pregnancy is not something that you are trying to um you know have like you're not trying to uh produce a child right now be careful because i'm hearing that a lot of y'all y'all been getting down or y'all about to have a very active sex life and um you know somebody here may get a little bun in the oven all right i also feel like somebody's upset because they could be finding out that somebody's pregnant somebody's upset because somebody doesn't love them they upset because somebody don't want them somebody here's just fucking bitter this person could be an air sign as well some of y'all was dealing with two libras some of y'all could have been dealing with a leo others of you could have been dealing with um a gemini aquarius another scorpio somebody here press they're press this person could have also been having issues getting pregnant or something like that but they're either mad at your person scorpio or they're mad at you especially if you are the masculine in the situation this person's mad because you got somebody else pregnant or you're in a new relationship you having a lot of like sexy times with this person and this past person that you separated from they're secretly mad they're going through it this person is like crying and shit you know what this is making me think of not to be putting a business out there but this is definitely a shanti and ellie and i promise you homegirl is mad what's her name she go by miss jackson Chantel. she's a beautiful woman too like she's oh my god she's so beautiful to me i think she's so beautiful but anyway she want nelly back okay i don't care if she out here denying that shit my cards don't lie and i know i'm picking up on them she want nelly back and she's pat she's pissed off with the moon card and the four swords that girl be crying over nelly okay and like i said ashanti could be finding out that she pregnant but anyways moving forward i don't mean to be picking up on their energy like this but i just do like i said some of them watch tarot <laughs> but i'm telling you i just really be picking up on them but anyway, Scorpio, this is for you, baby. Somebody here is coming back to make things right with you. They want to be with you or they have already came back to make things right with you. And like I said, y'all getting down. If you don't want to get pregnant, be careful, okay? Because I'm, I'm getting a lot of fertile energy and I'm seeing a baby here, okay? A baby that could be born in the summertime is what I'm hearing. A summertime baby. But listen, okay? I, that's what I'm seeing, and somebody else from the past is crying. They're either crying over your person or they're crying over you, Scorpio. Especially if you are um, the masculine in this. If you are the masculine in this situation, there's another. There's a past person that's crying over you. And they're mad. Well, what's coming towards you? A lot of sex, okay? Or possibly a baby. Shit. Who's coming towards you? This person can't come towards you. They're just crying over you and suffering in silence. You see things clearly, though. You already know this. You're like, oh, man, listen, it is what it is. I can't act like I'm not happy just because I know so-and-so sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate that they sad, but I'm not going to stop being happy because they sad. Mm -hmm. Nice, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, it's a Libra. Mm-hmm could be a libra that's fucked up over you or this could be the person that you with now or the person that you're about to get with but this is justice okay it's also justice for you not to invest in whoever's crying over you behind the scenes mm -hmm. let's move on to my um saggies <laughs> i promise you i just read nelly and ashanti down i promise you i love them though their baby would be mad cute too i think he's very handsome and she's very beautiful all right, let's move on to my Saggies. What's up, Sag? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, Sagittarius. Who and what's coming towards Sagittarius from now to the end of November? From now to the end of November. What can Sagittarius expect from now to the end of November? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, Sagittarius. What can they expect from now to the end of November? Let's get three more shuffles for you, Sag. Let's see, Saggy. Some of you may be going to court. Somebody here could be worried about that. Okay. Let's see what else. That's the first message I'm getting. Somebody here may be getting served some papers or may have a court date and could be really nervous about it. Oh, excuse me. 
Sagittarius, what's going on? A fool in a reverse. Four of Pentacles. Somebody here just holding on to something that they really need to just let go. Sagittarius, here you are, temperance in a reverse. You could be really disappointed and upset with somebody, very unhappy with somebody. This person could have possibly put you in a third party. Some of y'all was dealing with a Leo or a Cancer. This person, you, you could be waiting for somebody to get karma. Don't do that. Don't do that. Trust me, don't do that. I know how it is to feel like somebody like really wronged you. Somebody really betrayed you, really let you down. Trust me, I know how that shit feel. I've been betrayed by numerous people. I mean, countless people. Like, literally. Like, if y'all only fucking knew, okay? But it's not good to, like, watch and wait for somebody's karma or to be praying on somebody's downfall. Like, you did this to me. I can't wait till such and such happen to you. Or I hope you get hit by a truck. I hope you die. I hope you lose your job. I hope... Don't be in that energy, please. Even if you feel like the person deserves all those things, okay? Listen, don't don't um don't think like that and don't wait for somebody to have a a miserable life. Don't wait and watch behind the scenes to see if somebody's getting calm or, or to see somebody fail cuz what's going to happen, right? Is that you just going to become bitter and angry inside. I promise you. It's not going to help you in no way. If anything, it's just going to cause a blockage in your heart. And you're not going to be able to manifest. You're not going to be able to move forward. And this is why the chariot and the temperance is in the reverse here. Some of y'all could have strong cancer in your chart, possibly. Don't have to. But you're going to be stuck, okay? You're going to be stuck on this situation, stuck on this person. You're going to be angry. You're going to be constantly watching them. And if they do a good, it's going to infuriate you even more. Like, why haven't this? Why hasn't this person suffered yet? Why haven't they received bad karma yet? I don't understand. Why is this person living their best life? Why are they happy? Why are they at peace? And it's like really creating like a lot of frustration for you. I'm telling you, the only person that's going to be negatively impacted by this is you. You're drinking poison. You waiting for someone to get, um, you waiting to be someone's um, revenge or someone's karma, trying to seek revenge, right? This is going to be like you drinking poison. It's like you're killing your own spirit. For real. You're really demolishing and killing your own spirit. So just try to look at things from a higher perspective. Like if somebody wronged you, they betrayed you and they did you dirty, which I feel like they did. Okay. For some of you, this person put you in a third party, broke your heart and just did a lot of fuck shit. But it's like, it's not okay, but it's going to be okay when it comes to you healing and moving forward. You just got to make sure that you're not holding on to that shit, Sash. Don't hold on to it, baby. I know it's easier said than done, but you got to work hard not to hold on to that shit. Okay, you got to learn to forgive. Even if this motherfucker ain't sorry, you still got to forgive. You know how many people I had to forgive that are not sorry for anything that they've done to me? It's just, it is what it is. I don't even care if people be sorry. When people betray me, I'll be like, all right, shit. Thank you for letting me know how you really get down, you know? And now I ain't ever fucking with you again. <laughs> That's your karma enough because I'm a solid fucking person. I'm a great person to have. A great fucking person to have. I know what type of power and what type of love and, and shit I possess. So it's like, if you have me, you're winning. Whether that's a business partner, a friend, a family member, or just somebody that you confide in, a, an associate. Either way, you're very privileged to have me in your life. And I truly mean that in the most humble way because I know what I come with. You feel me? So that's the same shit I'm getting for you, Sag. Like, be in that energy. Know that you're a great person, that you add value to others. You add value to people like... People are privileged to have you around. Really think highly of yourself like that. Really truly believe that and feel that. And know that if somebody did you wrong, they played themselves. Your absence is going to kill them. Trust me. These people are going to be trying to come back into your life at some point in time because they were wrong and not you. You're a good person and they feel like shit. They're going to always want you. They're going to always need you. They're going to need you before you ever need them. Don't get it twisted. So let God handle these people vengeance is the lord's and i know a lot of people don't live by that and i wish that they would because they end up hurting themselves by not living by that but you gotta look at things from a higher perspective let the universe handle this motherfucker do not take matters into your own hands do not seek uh revenge here and don't have a vengeful spirit don't have an unforgiving spirit don't watch to see somebody fall see somebody fail okay you are like going into this empress energy Okay, like the empress don't got time to be feeling like that. You a whole fucking empress. You got to let that shit go, baby. And then for others of you, this is somebody feeling this way towards you. 
you are this empress, Saggy, and there could be somebody else that's watching and waiting to see you fail. All right? But this person is only ruining their own life. This person could be a Saggy like you. They could be a Cancer. I got strong Sag and Cancer. I got Leo here too. Maybe somebody's on the cusp of Cancer Leo. I also got Aquarius and Aries energy here. But somebody here could be waiting to see you fail, right? Feeling like you wronged them. Either way, it's somebody in this situation that's feeling this way. But you're receiving good news. You're receiving blessings. You're manifesting a new beginning. You're manifesting beautiful opportunities for yourself. You're in this high vibration. You're in this empress energy. You're manifesting. All your dreams are coming true. Four of wands here. Wish fulfillment. Sagittarius, everything that your heart desires is literally on its way to you. And spirit just wants you to know that if you're holding on to any resentment, now's the time to really let that shit go. And also, this is also your confirmation that if you know that someone is like plotting and waiting on your downfall, you about to shit on this person so hard because they're going to watch you live your best life even though they feel like you should be failing. The only person that's failing is them. And that's because... They have an unforgiving and vengeful spirit. All right. All right. <laughs> Some of y'all, this could even be your baby daddy. Like, I hate that bitch. And you know how fucking stupid you are that you want your the mother of your children to suffer? You idiot. That person is the mother of your children. Why would you want them to suffer? Like, they're raising your children. Your children loves them. Why are you wishing ill on somebody that is the mother or father of your children? Especially when they actually take care of their child. Like, even if they don't take care of their child, you shouldn't be wishing ill on them. But I digress. Like, somebody here is like, could even be mad at you, sad. You could be the mother of their kids. It's like, why are you wishing ill on your the mother of your children? Like, you're sick. That's exactly why your life is falling apart. Because who the fuck does that? Like, this is somebody that is holding, holding shit down. This is somebody that's taking care of your kids. Like... Why would you want to see this person fall? Why would you want to see this person fail? It's going to hurt your babies. Like, you want to see this person hurt so much that you don't care about hurting your babies? The babies don't want to see their mama hurt. What's wrong with you? Grow the fuck up. That is a situation like that for some of y'all, too. Your baby daddy could be wishing all the ill and negativity in the world for you. Calling you everything but the child of God, Sag. And you're going to show this motherfucker how much you winning out here, too. This person going to be kicking and screaming. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, this bitch just keep winning. She just keep winning. No. <laughs> Boo fucking who, okay? Suck ass niggas. Let's move on to my um, Cappies. What's up, Capricorn? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, Capricorn. Let's get a message for Capricorn. Who and what's coming towards you from now to the end of November? Cappy, what can you expect from now to the end of November? What do you have to look forward to? What can you expect from now to the end of November, Capricorn? Let's get three more shuffles for you, Cap. What can Capricorn expect from now to the end of November? Who and what is coming towards Capricorn? Capricorn, you have someone coming towards you, but they may not be very honest. I'm getting someone is very emotionally manipulative. I'm hearing Pisces. This person could be a Pisces, a Gemini, okay, or a Virgo. Capricorn or Leo, okay? Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. Somebody here has you in a third party. And this is somebody that's very emotionally manipulative. Could be a Scorpio as well, okay? So we got Leo. We got you here, Cap. We got Scorpio. I'm getting Pisces and I've got Gemini and Virgo. Okay. You can't trust somebody here. Okay. You can't trust them. Can't trust them. This is also somebody that gossips about you. They talk about you. Mm -hmm. They talk about you to other people. This could even be somebody here that you possibly are friends with. And they're also friends with other people. They may have a different set of friends here that you don't even necessarily hang out with. Right. You know how it is when you got a mutual friend with somebody, but you don't really like them. It's like, I don't fuck with none of them hoes, but you my girl, and I know you're still friends with them, but we grown. Like, I'm not going to tell you to stop being friends with them. You feel me? But it's like, y'all bitches probably talk about me when I'm not around. It's some shit like that. Like, Capricorn, it could be somebody here that you friends with, and they got a, another group of friends, set of friends, and they gossip about you because you don't really fuck with them other girls. You don't really fuck with them other people, them other dudes, however it may go. I'm also getting a situation here, too, where this is actually somebody that has an interest in you romantically, 
But this person still, they gossip about you. They talk about you. And this is somebody that want to come back towards you. They want to come back around. But this is somebody that's very unhappy with their, themselves. They're very unhappy with their life. And they feel like you got a lot going on for yourself. They feel like you got a lot of good things happening in your life. And they just want to come and see so that they can go back and talk, talk about you. And they just want to come and see what they can get out of you, what they can take. That's what this person coming for. They're a user. This is somebody that's a user. This is also somebody, like I said in the very beginning, they're very emotionally manipulative. It's clear as day that this person's intentions are not genuine. This person is not pure hearted. They're not coming with good intentions. They're not. All right. You heard it here first. This person could be coming towards you because they're financially struggling right now. Whoever this is, you don't see eye to eye with them. This is not an equal give and take partnership. Some of you could even be dealing with a fellow earth sign. You could be dealing with a Taurus, another Capricorn, or a Virgo. But this motherfucker is showing up as the King of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse, Two of Cups reverse. This is somebody that's not going to invest in you. They don't have much to offer. They don't have shit to offer. They're coming to take. They have one thing in mind. I'm coming to take. I'm coming to take. Capricorn going to help me. Capricorn, I gave y'all a message like this not too long ago. And I went in and a lot of y'all was laughing at it. But y'all was fucking with it. But y'all knew it was the truth. Like, somebody here wanted to, like, fuck you and, like fuck the good common sense out of you and use you like somebody here want to be a sugar baby they want you to take care of them it's a similar fucking message here this person is still in y'all energy and with the ace of wands here it's like this person do want to use sex to get sex to get something out of you this person has a third party they may even have somebody that they actually genuinely care about and really they really fucking with that person for real for real but neither one of them are doing good right now 11 11 on the clock as i say that you the only one in this situation that actually really got something going for yourself. This person knows that, and this is why they want to come towards you and fuck with you. But they don't really fuck with you. Like I said, this is somebody that got a whole nother person that's not doing as good as you. That's who they want to be with. It's almost like they want to come back into your life, see what they can take from you, and then take it to the person that they actually fuck with that's not doing as good as you. You understand me? I hope that I'm making myself very clear. Capricorn, be very careful with this person. This person is a Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus, another Capricorn like you, a Virgo, or a Pisces, or a Gemini. Whoever this is, they're a fucking clown, and I'm exposing them because this shit is ridiculous. I'm tired of this coming out in your energy. You need to know this. This is a warning. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. This person's a player. I got strong Leo here. Could be an Aries, Sagittarius, but I got strong Leo, strong Earth, and Pisces, and Gemini. Whoever the fuck this is, this motherfucker is a, a dishonest scumbag, okay? It's a Taurus for some of y'all. I told you it's a strong, it's another Earth sign for some of y'all. This person is nasty. They nasty. This is the type of motherfucker that'll come and get you sick too, okay? This person nasty. They be fucking everybody. They fuck anything moving, anything with a skirt on fuck out of here i don't like this person's energy is disgusting king of wands and i'm sorry cap it's disgusting i'm just being real it's disgusting they're disgusting and this is somebody that's not healing they're not doing the self-work death in the reverse they refuse to change you know this is why their life is so unstable you know this person like i said they're going through financial issues this person could be falling on hard times when it comes to work maybe they feel underpaid for some of them they could have even lost their job but this person is falling on hard times right now and they just walking around thinking what they dig. This is not even somebody that's trying to get their fucking money up. This person has no fucking plan. They have no long-term goals. This is somebody that's probably just sitting on their ass, scratching it, and looking for the next thing that they can fuck. Or possibly get to take care of them. This person want to use what they got to get what they want. <laughs> okay? All right? Magic Mike ass nigga. <laughs> like, I don't know. This is like a male gigolo here. Male gigolo, deuce bigolo type of energy. Please. They stressed out. They stressed out. And they, they saying that they stuck on you and they miss you. This person's such a fucking fraud, man. This Yo, this person, I'm going to really fight this motherfucker. Capricorn, I don't know who this is that's been coming out in y'all energy. But I want to, like, really, like, I don't know. Like, I, I want to, like, shake some shit up. I want to, like, I don't know. This person making me angry, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. I have no idea who this message is for. I have no idea who this person is. But they pissing me off. On a, on a cellular, on a soul, on a spiritual fucking level, man. This person is like grinding my gears. Their energy is pissing me off, Capricorn. <laughs> this person getting me tight. Because I'm going to tell you, like, this is somebody that's going to come towards you and be like, Capricorn, I'm not doing well, man. I lost my job. Oh, I got laid off. They cut my hours. 
you know, and I can't get over you. It's like, damn, my finances is fucked up. My heart is broken. You know, I miss you so much. I love you. I, I miss the way things used to be. I know I wasn't always the best person, but I'm trying. You know, I'm talking to the lady. I signed up for therapy. This motherfucker is lying. And this is why I'm getting tight because they're lying. <laughs> like, they're lying, Cap. I promise you, this motherfucker's a liar. Like, they're a liar. And even if they are going to therapy and have the receipts to show you, they ain't listening to that bitch either. This is somebody that's not doing no self-work. They're not healing. Yeah, you need to reject this person. They're very fucking immature. They need to grow the fuck up. They're not going to grow up, Capricorn. You need to go silent. You need to ghost this person. Everything going to work in your favor, baby, the justice. Everything going to work in your favor. You manifesting at this time. You showing up as an empress. You beautiful, single, independent, abundant, self-sufficient. Okay? Yeah, tower. You need to, like, just cut this person off. Capricorn, you're doing so well for yourself. Do not get sidetracked with this idiot. This person's a fucking idiot. They're idiots. Somebody here could be Caribbean. I'm hearing idiots. <laughs> They're idiots. Idiots. So however they be saying it. Idiots. <laughs> yeah, this person's a fucking idiot. Period. Scumbag. Fucking getting me tight. This person, yo, this person really getting me tight, Cap. Who is that? Oh, that motherfucker gave me mad. Cause they really be coming through with the with the fucking their commentary is crazy. This person needs to sign up for acting. And maybe they'll have some money. Cause I'm telling you, this is a great fucking actor. This person really puts on a show. I mean, crocodile tears. Round of a fucking applause. Stand in ovation. Okay, I'm hearing Rihanna. You put on quite a show. Really had me going. Now it's time to go. Curtains finally closing. That was quite a show. Very entertaining. But it's over now. But it's over now. Go on and take a bow. Tell that motherfucker, take a bow. They deserve a standing ovation. They deserve an applause. Go ahead and take a bow, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. Curtains closed. Person gonna piss me off. <laughs> Capricorn, that motherfucker gonna piss me off. This motherfucker about to raise my blood pressure in here, child. Piss me off. <laughs> this move wants off. Capricorn, I'm sorry, baby. That person gonna piss me off, man. <laughs> I gotta laugh. Yeah, the Emperor Reverse. They they be getting me tight. They know they be getting me tight. I don't know who this is, but I just want to, like, I want to shake them for you. Let me put the paws on this motherfucker one time for you, Cap. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> Let's move on to my Aquarius. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, node, aqua. What's going on? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, node, Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect from now to the end of November? second half of November from now to the end of November who and what's coming towards Aquarius what can they expect two more shuffles for my aquas Aquarius what's going on some of y'all dealing with Leos Aquarius what's up baby I love you hope you're enjoying your month aqua okay somebody's stalking you I heard because you got that wet wet. <laughs> That's mad funny. So this is somebody that, you know, you don't gave them some. You probably regret giving them some. You know, not everybody can handle that good shit. They start to lose their minds. Aqua, you don't gave somebody some and this motherfucker, it, they might get um, arrested. Okay. This person might get arrested for um, harassing you. Or you could be pressing charges on this person for harassing you. But I'm hearing this person may actually get arrested for aggressive stalking. Damn, your pussy like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your shit like that, Aqua. Somebody here is aggressively stalking you. <laughs> this shit is crazy, man. Oh, <sighs> Yep, this is going to be this person. Some of y'all, it could be somebody that's already locked up. This person could be in jail right now. And all they thinking about is you. They like, fuck, man. This person ain't even thinking about what they did or when they going to get out or how they going to better their life while they in there. This is somebody that's just thinking about you and who else could be possibly hitting it. <laughs> Yo, you let a thug nigga hit it. You changed this man's life, man. Fucked around and got locked up over your ass. Or this could be something that has nothing to do with you and this person just in jail. 
For some of you, this has absolutely nothing to do with you. And this person just in time out right now. They could be getting out though. I don't feel like this person got a long sentence. This could even be some quick shit over the weekend. I, like, I don't know. I'm not getting here. This person's in here for a long time. Take it as it resonates. For some of you, maybe they are. For others of you, they're not. This person could be getting out soon. Or their senses could be coming to an end. And now they're thinking about how they're going to be with you. But I'm telling you, this if this person had a sentence and they're getting out soon, this motherfucker going to fuck around and get in trouble all over again for aggressively stalking you once they get out. <laughs> like, I'm really seeing that shit. This shit crazy. Uh-uh, Aquarius, who you dealing with? You know what I'm saying? I like them other niggas too. But, you know, sometimes we got to switch it up. Sometimes, you know, we got to we gotta change it up. We can't always be with them because they be, they be too much. They come with too much, you know? It be a lot. <laughs> I don't know, Aquarius. I don't think it's worth it. Let's see. Somebody here could be trying to come and get you pregnant as well. Somebody here trying to put a baby in you. Who had a baby? Um, Scorpio. Some of y'all could be dealing with Scorpio. But Scorpio had pregnancy in their message as well. But Aquarius, somebody here could be trying to get you pregnant. Some of y'all could be having issues around fertility as well. If you have infertility issues and you've been trying to have a baby with somebody, you won't have a baby. It's just not supposed to be with that person. Like God is literally blocking your uterus. Like legit. Like that's some divine intervention for your ass. But I'm really getting here that if you was having like uh, fertility issues, it's because you were trying to have a baby by the wrong person. Listen, somebody may not like that message, but it's true. That's what I'm getting. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Aquarius, I also feel like you're going to be celebrating a lot. You're going to be going out a lot. Somebody here is going out on Thanksgiving night. You're going to eat with your family. Hee hee, ha ha, kiki with them real quick. And then you partying later on that night. Some of y'all going out on Thanksgiving night. Be safe. I'm also seeing here too that somebody just heartbroken over you. Like, really fucking heartbroken. Really stressed over you. This person is under heavy judgment. They're going through karma. They feel like you're the one that got away. They feel like you're not attracted to them anymore. They feel like your rejection, their, sex, their sexual advances towards you. So this is somebody that could be trying to come in and sleep with you. Also, be mindful of this person during the holidays because this is the type of motherfucker that'll slip something in your drink. Especially those of you that's going out. Like, you're, you're actually going out to a lounge, a club, whatever. Be mindful of somebody wanting to, like, slip you something. The fuck? Uh-uh. Because somebody want to fuck with you. And it's like, somebody here could have tried to talk to you, but you wasn't interested. You reject them. And so now they're going to try to drug you or some weird, crazy shit like that. This is ridiculous. Never in a million years would I think, when I thought I'd be picking up some shit like that and telling y'all this. But this is what I'm seeing. <clears throat> I also feel like you're being protected from somebody. Because somebody here um, is going to break your heart. Like, this is somebody that sleeps around a lot. This is somebody that will break your heart. And your spirit team don't want you to be heartbroken. So, I just feel like they're, pro they're protecting you from this person. Okay? There's a king of pentacles here that's having a difficult time getting over you. This person is coming towards you with an apology. All right? This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn for some of you. I'm also getting strong Pisces energy here. Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is a Leo, an Earth sign, or a Water sign. This person lied to you, and now they're coming back. They're coming in quickly to apologize and heal something with you. Strong Sagittarius, Aquarius, there you are. The Hierophant. This person is trying to make peace with you. Gemini energy. They're very disappointed. They know that you're single. They feel like you're walking away from them. Some of you could even be traveling, relocating, or moving. Congratulations. Others of you could be moving for work, okay? You could be moving to a new city, a new state, okay? You could be moving for your job, okay? Some of you could be working from home, so it's no problem. You don't have no problem fucking traveling or moving because you work from home anyway, you know? Congratulations, baby, but you got a new fucking beginning. For real, for real. This is big. I'm telling you, it's like career change and new house, new home, new city, like new everything. Some of y'all changing your phone number too. Like you just starting the fuck over. Like this is like a real fresh start, like a start over. New phone, new phone number, new house, new fucking body, like new money, like new everything. Like I'm just getting, it's new everything for you, Aqua. New everything and it's only up from here. It's up and it's stuck, okay? It's only up from here. A lot of people can't come with you. I feel like you're leaving a lot of motherfuckers behind, but you're like, oh, well, that's what they got FaceTime for, <laughs> okay? That's why they got Zoom, they got FaceTime, they got Google Face or whatever they call it, Google Call, whatever the fuck y'all be doing. Y'all know what I'm talking about, Google Chats, okay? That's what they got that shit for, FaceTiming. 
I'm out. <laughs> Aquarius, you out, baby. You looking good, too. You looking like the bomb, girl. Every time I talk to you, Aqua, you be looking good. Sexy as hell, bitch. <laughs> you fine as fuck. Y'all sexy. Y'all fine. Somebody here made love lipstick. I like lip. I used to wear lipstick a lot. You know, during COVID is when I stopped wearing lipstick because we all had the fucking mask and shit on. But I used to wear a lot of different lipstick colors. I used to love lipstick, too. Some of y'all love lipstick. But you sexy, bitch. Mm. You fine as fuck, Aqua. What's up? <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all. Let me stop playing with y'all. All right. Let's move on to um, Pisces. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, node, Pisces. What's going on, Pisces? Pisces, what's up, baby? Who and what's coming towards you from now to the end of November, second half of November? What can you expect, Pisces? Who and what's coming towards you, Pisces? Let's see. I just saw the five of pentacles. Shit, some of y'all could be leaving somebody. Leaving somebody that play too fucking much. You gonna leave them like it's funny. You wanna play me like I'm a joke? I'm gonna leave you like it's funny, nigga. Yeah, eight of cups. <laughs> eight of cups, seven of swords, five of pentacles. Oh, you about to leave somebody. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. My nose is itching so much. It's so crazy how your body reacts when you are, like, really channeling heavy. But, um... Yeah, Pisces. Somebody here. I feel like you leaving them. They tried to play you like it was funny, so you leaving them like it's a joke. Yeah. You leaving them hanging. You leaving them laughing by them by themselves. Ain't shit gonna be funny when you leave. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker ain't gonna be laughing when you leave. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness every day. <laughs> ain't no sunshine when she gone. <laughs> Ain't no sunshine when you're gone, Pisces. I'm hearing that you're gone for too long. Ain't no sunshine when you're gone. You're gone for too long. <laughs> Some of y'all dealing with a Leo, okay? Or Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, this is bad news for this person. This person also got caught up. See, this is what kills me. These niggas think they so slick and they get caught every single time. Somebody here about to get caught if they haven't already. And you breaking up with this person. I can't make it up. Ain't no sunshine. Confirmation. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only darkness every day. I hear ain't no sunshine when you go up. I keep hearing that shit. This is somebody that's going to be apologizing. Snot flying everywhere. Boogers flying everywhere. Crying and shit. Trying to be happy with you. Trying to get your back. This is somebody that's really going to be trying to get you back. This motherfucker even may get down on their knees. Pisces, I'm sorry, baby, please. Take me back, baby, please. I make it up to you. I do anything for you. Let me rub your feet. <laughs> Let me give you what you need, Pisces. This is somebody that's going to be begging for you. They're going to be really trying to work together with you. This person may even be trying to buy you, okay? So this is somebody that's pulling out all the stops. Pisces, this motherfucker about to buy you a car or buy you a house, buy you a ring, buy you something. I'm hearing like big extravagant gifts from this person. But this is somebody that really wants to come in and wine and dine you, really treat you, really give you something. You showing up as the high priestess. I feel like you're very intuitive. You already know this. Pisces, you know you intuitive by nature. You know you was born intuitive, baby. But you intuitively already know that this person is wanting to come towards you and do all these things and pamper you and apologize and kiss your ass. But this is somebody that y'all just don't believe in. You feel like this person is non-committal. This ain't the first time you done caught them. Some of y'all caught them before cheating on you. This ain't the first time. Yeah, this ain't the first offense, okay? And this is why you leaving. Eight of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? I'm hearing my love don't cost a thing. <laughs> Pisces, your love don't cost a thing. I'm hearing your love don't cost a thing, okay? This is somebody that's going to try to buy you. You hear, you saying you can't buy me. You can't buy me. I'm out. <laughs> Pisces, you said you can't buy me. Pisces, you mad funny because some of y'all may actually take the gifts and still leave. You ain't shit, bitch. <laughs> that's how they going to feel. They're going to be like, so they give my chain back. Give my car back if you gonna leave then. Give give me all that shit I bought you. Give it back to me. <laughs> this person's gonna be mad. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all soon. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for rocking with me. I'm gonna holla at y'all. Peace.